Hi everybody, this is Jim Aiken. I'm here to show you a little tiny bit about Sugar Bites Nest, which you can see there. I'm not going to try to explain every single detail of this because number one, there are a lot of details. And number two, the Sugar Bites website uh, goes through them pretty exhaustively. You should be able to figure out quite a lot just by watching their tutorial videos. What I thought I would do instead would be to take one of my musical examples, a, a patch that I did myself, and deconstruct it for you quickly so that you can uh, maybe see how it was put together in reverse. If I tried to uh, construct it from scratch, I'd probably make a lot of mistakes and it would look really bad. So we're going to try taking it apart instead. For starters, let's go over to the sound page. This is the instrument we're listening to here. This is a, a bass sound from Toxic Biohazard. There is Toxic Biohazard. You can see most of it on your screen. That's what we'll be hearing for the most part. So let's just give it a quick listen. First, I will hit play on my host digital audio workstation. Okay, the first thing is that the kick and snare, which are simply providing a rhythmic anchor for the uh, sound, are coming from over here. Th if we go back to the sound page, you'll see that this is the built-in drum synthesizer, which is over here, and it's routed to inputs 1, 2, and 3. Now, I could either disconnect these. We're not using 3, but I'll disconnect it anyway. Or I could remove the gate inputs from these two uh, outputs, but I'm not going to do that because now we won't hear any kick or snare. The next thing you may notice is that the patch jumps up an octave occasionally uh, at unpredictable intervals. That's because the multiplexer over here has a 12 here. And it's jumping around at random because in this mode, the A, B, and C inputs are um, either 1 or 0. They're logical inputs. And only when we get 0, 1, 10, 11, only when all three are high, does the uh, output park here. And when the output parks there, then it goes down the cable to the pitch input of the synthesizer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect that. Now we won't hear any octaves. Let's try it again. The other thing that's happening here is an irregular rhythm. The basic note pattern is coming from the sequencer, which looks like that. But in addition, we have a gate coming down here from the hold module, which I will now disconnect. And now we'll only hear the sequencer. So that, in a nutshell, is how a fairly simple patch can be put together and or...